Thank you, thank you. At the outset, I would like to first thank Bansi sir for giving me this opportunity. And Rutul, thank you for calling me. Back to Ahmedabad, it's very lovely to be here. And it's a warm regards to the all the respected audience here. And ma'am, uh, a good evening to you. And Amit has already done a fantastic job as he always does. So there's no point discussing it because he launches AI so beautifully that people don't go to sleep. So I might be putting you to sleep, so be prepared for that. So my topic today is, uh, I'll see if I can take biostatistics, but my topic today primarily will be how to make PowerPoints, right? So uh, let's start with the basics. So what we normally used to do all our lives is we start this PowerPoint app, right? Do we have a column mic? So now we have this and then we pick up, we uh, decide a topic, we make a new slide and we search for a template. So you give me, I, I'll be doing it a live demo. So tell me any of you who wants to make a PowerPoint, there may, anybody, any topic on which you want to make a PowerPoint? This is not AI, this is what is human intelligence, you know, which AI can't do. You can't beat human intelligence. It's called India, we call it Jugaad, Jugaad technology. I'll tell you a joke on that. So what is your topic there? Sorry? Ramification center. Achha, it's a gamification. And diabetes, right? So obviously you won't get any templates from Microsoft over here. So you probably take one template, double click it, and create a standard PowerPoint. And then you get this wonderful template, and you start writing your slides and start putting up your data. And this is a basic template, so it takes you about at least 12 hours to 18 hours with all the data sets that you to do, copy, paste, arrange the whole thing, get the graphics in place, get the things in place, get the text in place, and at the end of the day get thoroughly frustrated and get bored. So uh, there are multiple tools. There is a list of tools that you can use for making PowerPoint. I'll start with the basics of chat GPT, right? Now the problem is most of us type chat GPT and go there, and there are a lot of fake chat GPT sites. So chat GPT is owned by a company called Lex, Open AI. Microsoft has 70% share, so type search for Open AI, not chat GPT. Chat GPT is the app you get on mobile, platform, Android and iPhone. But do not search for chat GPT on a, on a laptop, whether it's a Mac OS or a Windows. So once you come to open here, you can just log in over here. And once you log in, you get access to the four Omni, the Strawberry model, the Omni one mini model, and the latest, these are the latest models. Too. The Strawberry has the best reasoning capacity. So I won't go into all that. So it's about the paid version. The, the playing the, this is the unpaid version, so I won't have, once I've logged in, I won't have. So that, that will give you access till 4. So previously they were giving 3, 3.5, now they're directly giving you 4 free. So what Amit said is what we all used to do is get comfortable, start using it. Once you want to get going with it, you know, it's like what I call get engaged first, don't jump for marriage. Once you're comfortable, then get married. So start paying 2,000 rupees after that per month. So. Here is your chat. So, so now what's important here is prompt. Prompt is everything in Gen AI. So prompt engineering is a branch of AI where for your knowledge, people are being paid 7 lakhs to 15 lakhs per month employed by companies to generate. So I'll give you a real example. Suppose you are, look, when I was doing my MIT certification course, I was supposed to create three projects. One was for Uber company. So Uber had asked me as an employee to decide which routes should I employ when should those cars go, which driver shift should be encouraged more, which driver should be given more, and what routes carry maximum mileage and business revenue. So I have to generate a prediction model on that, and if I fail in doing that, I fail the entire exams. So I have to create an MI model on that. So, so what kind of prompts I give to the AI engine is what model I will get. So a lot depends on what prompts. So very simple, you have an assistant with you, right? You have RMOs working under you, you have nurses working under you. You have your own child who's a very intelligent child. Now they are double-edged source. If you talk properly, they give you very good output. You talk negatively, they give you wrong outputs. So bottom line is which I say for AI to be used intelligently, you have to be intelligent. 
So if you don't choose a right prompt, you don't get a good answer. Same thing happens with chat GPT. So I'm giving a very good prompt. So uh, give me uh, 30 slides. No, I'll cut it down. Let, let Dharmit do some work. Give me 20 slides. Uh, that's because he's not given me any food so far. So I'll cut down as this thing. If I'm making some spelling mistakes, presentation on gamification. And forget my spelling mistakes and my grammar. I'm least bothered. It takes care of it. You can correct it and waste your time. Now say it will start generating. Now the problem with all this is if you don't have internet, nothing works. And you need a very good internet for this. Now I have not checked in yet, so I don't have access to the Wi-Fi of Hyatt, but uh, my hotspot is running. Why did it disappear? I just switched it on. So I've given this let, 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 let me do it from their angle, not from my angle. Let me do it as if they are doing it. You know? let, let's keep it simple. So I have done this uh, 20 slides presentation. I think the net is not working. This mobile needs to be here. I can't do the talk. Rutu's nothing. Basin yes. is Rutu's nothing. I said that way. <laughs> I thought that is to prevent your wife from accessing your data. You know the joke now, where people label as wife one, wife two, wife three, which is actually the same wife's three phone, but it's labeled as wife one, wife two, wife three. Unfortunately, my wife has got only one phone, so I can't do that. Dharmendra is getting excited. Huh? I net I can't do anything. I can't do anything. You 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 can't do anything. Sometimes it happens, I have to re-log in and I do just once again. So this is Python on which it is working. It's creating the PowerPoint for you. Okay, so then is getting excited now. So the slides, now the slides that you will get is, and I'm happy to give it to Dharmin, are going to be very blank and very uh, generic slides. They won't have any matter in it. 
will just give you the high spots. It won't give you exactly that you want to communicate to your audience, but that saves 80% of your time. So let's see once this is done. It, now the, prop, the difference between the paid version and the free version is the free version will not give you the entire PowerPoint ready. It will give you a, a 10 or 20 cards which are supposed to copy and paste and create your slides. Whereas the paid version will actually give you the link where you can actually download the presentation straight away. Sometimes it plays quirky there also. So here we download this presentation. Okay, now here is something which I'll open up for you. So now this is the presentation for Dharmendra. I'm very happy to show. Mac. This is only online version, but it works fantastically. So if you don't want to buy Office and you want to enjoy the, the latest version of Office, you can go here, do your entire work, save it in your OneDrive and use somebody's computer which has got Office installed and run the show. So what I will do here is, 
I am going to pick up the word document here. Okay. Like I said, I need a very good internet to run things. So once uh, you use a word document here, just paste it over here. You paste the entire flow here. Okay. Having done that, what you do is go to file and Go to file menu in this word document and export it into a powerpoint export to powerpoint now you choose a theme or a template that you like suppose i prefer this theme or i prefer this theme because it's on gaming i export it it will prepare the slides and give it to me so it will take hardly 30 seconds and your presentation is ready again the same generic presentation is ready in front of you You have to. Microsoft will not work. Abhi, a free make email ID bhi nahi loge toh kam kare. You just need a free email ID. You don't have to pay any money for that. See? So your entire slide presentation is here with a lot of goodies that you like. You can see all this. So this also you can save and download. What chat GPT has said you can save and download. So you've got two presentations on the same topic with different different flavors. So that is one other thing. Now I just want to show you this. If you're using the installed version of Word, and this is a different topic from today, so I won't tell you the difference between a isolated uh, office installation versus a subscription. That's a different ball game. So suppose I open up a blank document here, you will not get this export option in an installed version. There is no PowerPoint export option. So this is only available in the online version. This is a second way. The third way is something which I love, which is this. Give me the VBA code of the above PowerPoint. So it will generate the entire VBA code for me. Visual Basic for Applications. That is the code on which the entire office has been written. And that is the code which I have used to create the software for my hospital 10 years back. So my entire discharges, my billing, everything runs on that. That I have created single handedly because I was doing a lot of tinkering with VBA 10 years back. Now it's not required to do anything. No, it didn't give. It's saying it's okay, okay. Yeah, but then the net is poor, you know, it's not running very smoothly. Should I do that? Give me, give me that. Give me the higher temperature. It's stuck with Rahul you know, and uh, Rutul now. Okay, this is hired Wi Fi, right? Sir, you are coming, first class will go, now it will go. So you can't beat Amit, Amit knows how to take his uh, human intelligence into everywhere. So that's why RX events are so popular, huh? they know how to get things running. मुझे नहीं बताएंगे अपने तक प्राइवेट रखेंगे लेकिन काम करके दे देंगे सो द प्रॉब्लम इज इट्स माई फ्रॉम माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस आई एम टेलिंग यू नन ऑफ दीज ए आईज वर्क वेल इफ यू डोंट हैव अ गुड ब्रॉडबैंड कीप अ गुड ब्रॉडबैंड इट इट वर्क एट अ रॉकेट स्पीड इफ यू हैव अ बैड ब्रॉडबैंड यू सफर लाइक एन एथिंग दे वर्क वेरी वेल वेन यू हैव अ गुड स्पीड Selected coupon is expired, so Hyatt is refusing to support our conference. Good morning, sir. not AI, so P. Balcho Bala Ache is not from AI, that is from me. Bengali conversion is from me, not from AI. I said P. Balcho Bala Ache, 
So that is not AI, that is human being generated. Chalo, ye hi use kar. Nahi aata na? So Wi-Fi of height is also not working. So Rutul, you are required again. Okay, so now it's connected, so it's giving me the VBA code. So this is the Visual Basic code. One thing when you do coding now, if you have practiced coding, you'll realize coding is like Urdu language. It is to be read from right to left, not from left to right. All the codings that you see now, they have to be read from right to left. That is how codings work. So now it's generating the whole Visual Basic code for you. So I, so what you need to do is go into PowerPoint and go into the Developer tab. Again, this tab is not active by default. You have to activate it from Options. Then over here you go to this Visual Basic and Macros. Now Macros is a different ball game. I won't go into that. Go into Visual Basic, and over here in this VBA project, right click and start a new module. Insert a new module. So this is where you actually will write the code for PowerPoint to work. And this system is active in Word and Excel also. If you want to do get your hands dirty with coding. So this is how it works. Only thing the difference here is Chat GPT is giving me the entire coding for me. Okay. So now eight slides is there, so good. Now now I'll take me a lot of time or two. So fine. Uh, the problem is I have to wait for all the codes, otherwise it will give me an error. So by the time it's doing that, let me show you another method, and that is gamma. Now gamma is something that we use. It's a very lovely way to play around with PowerPoint. And uh, we just log in over here. You can use the free version initially. I've taken the paid version. Now, Gamma is an engine which has been designed to create PowerPoint. So obviously, it is of a very high quality. You get some very fantastic presentations here. And as you can see, I have created a huge amount of presentations over here. A lot of my national, international presentations that I do have been taken from Gamma. So now, let's create a new presentation for Dharmendra. And now, here the thing is, if you have an article, a PDF article, or if you have a Word document or something, you can paste that article and take it from there, or you can insert the file directly, or you need not even download a PDF. So sometimes, you know, articles do not have a PDF available to you if you are not subscribed to that site. So you can directly take the URL and push the URL here. It will pull up the article and create a PowerPoint. And yesterday's journal club, which I did, I did that. I had a very good article. I didn't do any hard work. I just pushed the article into Gamma, and I got my entire slides ready. In fact, my slides were not ready, though so I should not share it in front of Amit. But I didn't get the time to prepare my slides till 8.30 p.m. The journal club was at 9. I had read the article, but my presentation was not ready. I was tied up in my hospital. So within five minutes, I pushed it into Gamma. My entire slides were ready in 10 minutes. And I presented it. It was a blockbuster. So it was so beautifully done. So now we generate this for uh, Dharmendra. And we say, and I am fed up of typing this again and again. So OK, so now this code is also ready. So it's telling you how to use the code. So I've already shown you how to use the code. So what you do is just copy this code go into PowerPoint, we create this module, just paste the code over here. And having done that, sometimes there are errors, just run the, just run the code and see your slides are ready. Saw that? Now the, you'll ask me what is the advantage of this method. Advantage of this method is if you know coding, you can manipulate the code to give you a different outlook in some places. You can get images inserted in other things. So this is how we used to get our hands this 30, 10 years back is to get a sense of gratification. That was our gamification. You know, if you create something, that is your gamification. It gives you a lot of benefit. It gives you a lot of sense of relief. So I've shown you all this. Now let's come to Gamma. So here is Gamma. And in Gamma, uh, we take this. So let me just copy the prompt from here. And that is, uh, give me 20 slide flow. Of So this I will be using in a lot of places. So I go to Gamma. I just write over here what I want. And we generate the outline. Now it will give you only eight cards initially. You can get more than eight cards if you have a paid version. So, But it decides that eight cards are more than enough. So it, it has less love for Dharmendra than I have, because it's not even giving more than eight cards. Anyway, we continue it. 
So we generate this gamification and diabetes from this and I've got a lot of themes which I can choose on. I think this is a very reasonably good theme. So let me generate it on this theme. Now you will see some magic happening and these are some of the best lines you can get. You see that, how beautiful it's coming out. Don't you think it's lovely? See how this, you can do a lot of things which I didn't tell you, there are options below. Now the images that you get, it gives you three options, should they be AI generated images, should it pull it from the internet or should it be absolutely raw images, the options are there. So I've chosen the AI generated images because I like that more, but you can choose what you like or you can recreate the slides from three formats and then mix and match whatever way you like. So now I've got this presentation running here ready. Now if I play it here, now how do I get it down? So that will take some time. So when I click share button, I can take it as an export button. I can export it to a PDF or a PowerPoint and it takes a lot of time to export. But before it does that, this is something I learned the hard way. Since you have registered it with your Gmail ID, you can create a, a login with your own separate ID. It will do that also. It sends the presentation to my Gmail ID much faster than it allows me to export and download. I've seen that presentation ready on my Gmail within less than 30 seconds. I don't know how it works, but it works that way. So you can choose that. You can also collect all these images as a collection of images, whatever way you want. But I won't do that. I'll, what I'll do is I'll just run the slides for you so that you can understand what I'm doing here. So uh, yeah, I just click the back button because got stuck over there. So I just uh, present the presentation for you guys. So this is another presentation. Don't worry, Dhamindra, I'll give it to you in the night. So while it's generating it, here we come to another thing which is called Tome. So I've already logged in to Tome. Here also it's the same prompt which I'm giving you. As you can see, I've created a lot of presentations here also. So I do a lot of work here, so it saves a lot of my time. Now here also you can import a doc. This is a free version. Tome for me is free because I didn't find Tome that good as Gamma. As you work with things, you realize which will suit your requirements. Gamma, I have taken the paid version. So, and one more trick, when you're buying the version, don't buy a monthly subscription, buy a yearly subscription. You get a cheaper deal. And I'll give you one more deal, which I should not share here on a public forum. But then if you're friendly with some people, let one person pay, you can share the same ID. That's simple as that. Believe me, it works very good for everybody. Why do you want to waste your money per person? The problem is don't share your Gmail ID. So then you cannot log in with Google. Otherwise, your entire Google system will be open to your colleague. So, generate with AI. So, here I type the same thing over here and I generate the outline. Now, let's come back to Gamma. So, this is gamification and diabetes management. It puts my name automatically. Now see, this is defining gamification. This is the benefits of gamification and diabetes management. Dharminda, you like the slides? So tomorrow you won't get an audience, they've already seen your slides. So gamification techniques, engagement and motivation strategies, measuring the impact of gamification. I'm sure you can't do a better job than this. This is so impressive and so nice. You can go to an international platform like this. And now you know where are presentations of me and Amit are coming from, you know. So this. See, it's so beautiful, see. So this is one set. I'll, I'll do that for you. Now let's come to Tome. Now Tome has also created the outline. Now let's generate the presentation here. Now see, remember one thing about Gen AI. Even with chat GPT, you ask a question. Every time you ask the question, you'll get a different set of answers. Because it's generating it fresh. So you won't get the same answer. Sometimes if you want to get the maximum mileage, ask the same prompt three times and get three different answers and you'll learn, pick up a lot of stuff. So with the same AI engines, if you do multiple AI engines, you'll get different slide sets. So the, the basic secret is download all these presentations on your computer, mix and match. Gives you a very fantastic presentation. So what you would have done over probably 10 to 20 hours, you have finished in less than half an hour. And people like us are actually creating presentations on the fly. So when I before I walked into this room, one very good friend of mine has called me and told me, by tomorrow morning, give me one presentation. And yesterday I got calls from two big shots. Uh, Bansi sir is sitting here, I won't take their names. I've already been booked by two. No, no, not you. But two big shots means 
of his level. I have already booked for tomorrow but for two more presentations. So, my problem is I don't get to sleep. I am working for him. So, bottom line is these are so good. People are so happy. You get such wonderful presentation. So, see, this is how Tom. You can see these presentations. You can get a PDF file. Some of the material is so good. It's worth presenting. You know, it's so good. Now, let's come to beautiful AI. This is another AI. I've stopped my subscription here because I didn't find it as good as Gamma. This was my paid version. And as you can see, I've done a lot of work on this. Now, suppose I'll show you one thing, artificial intelligence and hypertension management. So, I'd created this slide show through beautiful AI. Now, while it's working, this is the last engine which I want to show you that is Dectopus. This creates a fantastic amount of presentations. So, if you type your topic here, it walks you through. It even asks you what kind of audience do you want it to. Do you want it for endocs? Do you want it for diabetes? Do you want it for nurses? Do you want it for a general audience? So, once you do that, you can start from scratch by putting in your idea or you can create with a template or you can create with AI. So, when you create with AI, it will ask you a lot of questions. Here, you can import your PDF. So, when you put in an article here, it will analyze the article and create your presentation out of that article. But this engine takes a hell lot of a time to create from a PDF versus gamma. So, let's just create with AI. Now, I write my topic here and then let's start. So, now it will ask you a lot of questions. Do you want it for healthcare professional? Do you want it for patients? Do you want it for researchers? Do you want it for developers and designers? Let's go for developers and designers because I think that will be more relevant here. Then it will ask you another question. So, the slide size changes accordingly. Do you want to explore the innovative gamification techniques or do you want to demonstrate the impact or do you want to discuss case studies? Now, I think we'll discuss case studies over here. And then the final question will come. So, it's given you the ideas. These are some of the topics which it will cover very nicely. Go to the next. And which template do you want? Let's take a creative template. And let's generate our presentation. Now, Dectopus takes time. It takes not less than 5 minutes to generate it. It will take a lot of time. But having done that, let's see the beautiful AI. Now, this was a uh, presentation that I had created for uh, artificial intelligence and hypertension management. And as you can see, it's see the presentation. Some of the slides were so good that I just lifted some of the slides and then I went ahead and I added my presentation to that. So, so, so a lot of groundwork is done. So, what I do is I put it in six engines. I give that work to six, seven engines. Go and have my breakfast or have a nice cup of coffee. They are all ready. I download all of them, put them in a folder, run them copy paste some of them into each other, create a rough template of my presentation. But now most important part, it is your presentation, not AI presentation. The audience is here to listen to you, not this. So what happens is when I am getting presentations from somebody, when I am giving my presentations to somebody, I might give all this to Dharmendra, but Dharmendra will have his own ideas and the feelings that he wants to share. So, thoda to aapko kaam karna padega. Having done this, you need to put in your own data, your own thoughts, your own feelings. Otherwise, it doesn't become a presentation. Otherwise, it looks a very dull presentation. So, don't just mix match and go straight away and start presenting. You will make a fool of yourself. You need to put in your ideas, your research. So, what I finally do is, like Amit told you, I go to uh, Gemini. Now, Gemini is something and perplexity. These are two good engines which give you a very fantastic medical research. So, I tell Gemini that please give me the latest articles in Vancouver format for this topic from PubMed and Google Scholar. It gives you the latest and the fantastic articles which you will take a hell lot of time searching. So, yesterday for my talk on ethics and artificial intelligence, the latest guideline, I pulled up data from them. I got some fantastic five papers and I mixed match those papers through perplexity. I took out those papers and I got the summary from each paper. I mixed and matched them and I pushed that document into these PowerPoints. I got a fantastic PowerPoint. I did some of my ideas and yesterday's conference was a big shot. So, that is how you work and the whole thing was done in half an hour. To show you what exactly I mean is, uh, mostly GPT, that's right. That, that, that's one more thing that good Amit told me. I subscribe to GPT, but I don't subscribe to Copilot because Microsoft is behind both. Engines are very similar. It's a wastage of money buying both. 
बट को पायलट इज पिकड अप ब्यूटिफुली जब एना इज पिकड अप ब्यूटिफुली लास्ट थ्री मंथ दोस्ट ऑफ अस वर वर्किंग रेगुलरली ऑफ रियलाइज इज पिकड अप वेरी नाइसली सो यू कैन सी इट्स अल्टीमेटली योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड योर दिस थिंग हाउ डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू इट एंड इट पिक्स अप वेरी थिंग नॉ सी यस्टरडेज प्रेजेंटेशन आई जस्ट शो यू वॉट आई प्रेजेंटेड यस्टरडे सो दिस वॉज फॉर अ जनरल क्लब जस्ट टू शो यू वॉट आई डिड यस्टरडे इन हाफ एन आवर जस्ट टू गिव यू एन आइडिया अबाउट हाउ थिंग्स गो so this is artificial intelligence bias and clinical safety so i had to explain all this but this entire thing was done within half an hour by me from scratch i had no presentation in my hand i started at 8:30 by 8:50 my presentation was ready with whatever techniques i am done so this is the kind of speed you get i think this was really good right and this is all from an article which i was reviewing so that's the article which i reviewed i talked about prediction drift i talked about Uh, distribution shiftings i talked about frame in ai i used a lot of technical terms i talked about certain image problems and black box decision making automation bias insensitivity to impact lot of things i did now see this i showed very clearly from that paper this has been pulled up from the paper the same ai two different ai models algorithms are showing the same picture it is picking up the head and the feet and the other ai is picking up only the torso so actually what disease are you picking up that's what i wanted to show you cannot totally depend on ai to make you a better doctor so i'm debating from the topic but that was my topic what is the ethics behind using ai so ensuring safe failure you see the presentation it has come out so well this is all from one paper that i read yesterday see everything was done in 25 minutes so you can get real quality powerpoint presentations by using this 7 8 engines and trust me there are 50 more engines out in the market and there will be tons of more coming tomorrow who will which will be probably much better then gamma also so it's up to you how much time you spend how much you explore what you like and that is why doctors ai is running share with us join the community it's a it's a it's a bomb it's exploding enormously every day so what you like share see we are freely sharing our knowledge and our experience you what you like come and share tell us what you like most and that is how the community grows and we get a better deal so this is just to tell you in brief how powerpoints can be created and i think you think it's a good way to do it at the end of the day before you close your powerpoint make sure that you put in your idea and your knowledge and what you are going to talk about don't just get carried away by the ai thing sometimes ai will give you wrong information it will make a it's very embarrassing if you are talking about a molecule or a management strategy in diabetes which is totally incorrect because you have copied pasted ai so go through the slide don't depend blindly on it there was a paper in urology which clearly wrote in the publication that the above paper has been created by chat gpt chat gpt is not responsible for the content of the paper it got published and it created a havoc in the market so be careful what you read don't blindly accept everything that is generated by ai for you but it's a huge intelligent thing it creates i mean it saves a lot of your time and energy and does a lot of work but it is your power point don't forget that should i stop here or should i show them bio statistics so we'll stop here okay thanks so i hope that helps you and thank you for the opportunity